Next method of immobilization is by covalent binding. This is a widely used technique in which the immobilization is achieved by covalent bond creation between the chemical group of the enzyme as well as the chemical group of the support. And what are the different groups of enzyme which will help to bind covalently with the carriers like amino, imino, amide, hydroxyl, thio, methyl thio, guanidine, imidazole and phenol ring group of uh, group of enzyme will take part in the formation of chemical bonding. Now what are the advantages? The most important advantage of covalent binding uh, is it will form an irreversible form of immobilization which cannot be reversed by pH, ionic strength or substrate. But the disadvantages is the uh, active site of enzyme may be blocked through the chemical reaction or enzyme may render inactive. Covalent bonding is often associated with the loss of some of the activity of the enzyme and we have to treat the inert material uh, before uh, immobilization. We have to treat, uh, we have to requ we require a pre-treatment to form a pre-activated support before it binds with the enzymes. Now what are the different methods of covalent binding for immobilization technique? There are different methods like cyanogen bromate activation in which the inert support material like cellulose, sepharose and sephardox containing glycol group are activated by CBR which then bind with the immobilized bind with the enzyme to immobilize that. Now second method of covalent bond is a diocetization. Some of the support material like amino benzyl cellulose, amino derivative of polystyrene or amino Silicinide porous glass are subjected to diocinase on treatment with sodium nitrate and HCl. Thereby, it, it can bind covalently with the tyrosyl or estetyl group of enzyme. Now, another method of covalent bonding is peptide bond formation, in which the enzyme immobilization can be achieved by formation of peptide bond between the amino group or carboxyl group of the support and the carboxyl group of the enzyme and activation of bi or uh, polyfunctional reagent that is another method for covalent bonding here uh, some reagents like rutaldehyde can be used uh, to bind uh, or to create bond between the amino group of enzyme and amino group of the support like the amino ethyl cellulose albumin or amino alkylated porous classes and these are some examples of enzyme and their carrier matrix and their binding agent for example alpha amylase is uh, covalently bonded with DEA cellulose by direct coupling cellulose with polyurethane by isocyanate binding uh, agent then glucose isomerase with polyurethane by direct uh, sorry by isocyanate as binding agent glucose oxidase uh, porous class is used as in matrix by using binding agent like isothiocyanate so these are some examples now last one uh, method is cross-linking immobilization by cross-linking and the most important characteristic of this type of immobilization is there is no need of an inert support because here enzyme molecules are immobilized by a creating cross-linking between them through uh, involvement of some polyfunctional reagents like uh, glutaraldehyde so the, that this reagent in fact react with the enzyme molecules and they will create the bridge which form the backbone to hold the enzyme molecules so these are some examples of reagent which is used for the cross-linking glutaraldehyde dia azobenzidine, hexamethylene diisocyanate, toluene diisocyanate. Rutraldehyde is an extensively used cross-linking agent and this is irreversible and which can uh, withstand extreme pH as well as temperature condition. So that is the immobilization technique by cross-linking and there are uh, five methods and 
coming to the application of immobilized enzyme usually the immobilized enzyme is widely used in the industrial analytical and therapeutic purpose beside with their involvement in the food production and the different applications are manufacturing of commercial product like product uh, production of uh, l amino acid production of high fructose syrup and some analytical application like in biochemical analysis and affinity chromatography now the most important application of an immobilized enzyme is industrial application so these are some examples of immobilized enzyme and their industrial application for example amino acylase for the production of l amino acid from d and l acyl amino acid glucose isomerase for production of high fructose syrup from the glucose amylase for the production of sucrose from the starch inverters uh, for the splitting of sucrose into glucose and fructose penicillin acylase for the commercial production of semi synthetic penicillin aspartase for the production of aspartic acid from the fumaric acid so these are some example for immobilized enzyme and their industrial application now another important application of immobilized enzyme is this immobilized enzyme can be used in analytical biochemistry as biosensors in order to sense or in order to measure or uh, in order to qualitatively and quantitatively identify some substance in the body for example immobilized enzyme like glucose oxidase can be used to identify or to assay glucose urease for urea cholesterol oxidase for cholesterol lacto uh, dehydrogenase for lactate alcohol oxidase for alcohol and ascorbic acid oxidase for ascorbic acid so these are some examples of uh, immobilized enzyme and uh, the uh, these enzyme are used as a biosensor for the uh, assay of some uh, compounds now another application of immobilized enzyme is in the field of medicine as well as antibiotic production for example cephalosporin uh, immobilized uh, cephalosporins are obtained by immobilizing cephalosporin amidase from various organisms prednisolone that is an uh, anti-inflammatory drug uh, from the steroidal classification which is which are produced from the cortisone by using immobilized enzyme obtained from alveolaria lanata l-dopa uh, is an important drug which is used for the treatment of parkinsonism and this can be produced by immobilized enzyme like beta tyrosinase then immobilized enzyme aldose is used in diagnosis of muscle disorders glutamate oxaloacetate transferase used to diagnose the myocardial infarction now another important application of immobilized enzyme is in food and dairy industry uh, immobilized enzyme like protease are used for the uh, production of chill proof beer amino peptidase as well as carboxy peptidase immobilized enzyme used to produce protease hydrolyze Immobilized papain is used to tenderize the uh, tenderize the meat as well as meat product, and also it is used in the manufacturing of protein hydrolyzed in brewing industry for clarifying juices and beer, and also in dairy industry for production of cheese as well as baking industry. Lipase is used in uh, used for the enzymatic modification of some flavors of food. Immobilized Narginase uh, will reduce the bitterness of some fruits like uh, grapefruits as well as sour oranges. Immobilized adenosine deaminase is used as a strong flavor potentiating agent. Now, another other applications of enzyme immobilization, immobilized enzymes are in bioremediation or wastewater treatment. Many of the uh, immobilized enzyme like uh, peroxidase lack and azoreductase are used to remove the dye which are present in the effluent from the textile and paper and leather industries then immobilized lactase uh, can be used to degrade number of lactase can be used to degrade number of dyes like androsinoid dyes as well as lancet blue in uh, biodiesel production immobilized lipase is uh, used to reduce the cost so that it can be used repeatedly and 
it has more stability and in capturing of carbon dioxide uh, in air immobilized carbonic anhydrase is used to capture carbon dioxide coming from the power plant and then converted into useful materials or store in the aggregate undergrounds so these are some applications of enzyme or immobilized enzyme so here we have discussed the definition advantages disadvantages different methods as well as applications of enzyme immobilization hope it is clear thank you for watching this video